Hey everybody, my name is Kenta, and welcome back from the video of Lost Judgment. We're going to continue this series, boys. Now, I kind of had an idea for this video in particular, boys, and that was just to simply continue the main story for now. Uh, we basically spent almost two entire videos doing the side quest and all. And I feel like it's time a little bit that we come back to the main story just because... I feel like uh, we wasted enough time if we want to finish this game eventually because we do have to finish it I mean I do have another game coming up uh, soon enough so I want to be able to finish this game uh, for you guys so let's let's do that let's try and finish it as quick as possible at the same time I think I'm gonna start doing 50 minute videos like longer videos and stuff like that uh, just because I kind of don't want, really want to go or go back to the uh, two videos per day, 30 minute uh, format. Uh, I unfortunately I was able to do that last time because uh, I had uh, obviously my sister as my editor uh, from time to time, so she was able to help me out. But it doesn't seem like he can, she can really help me out as much uh, as I asked her and stuff like that. So instead uh since she can't really be there too much because of that i am probably gonna just end up instead uh going to uh, just do 50 minute videos so longer videos it's still gonna be one video per day but it, it, they're gonna be longer uh basically so uh, i think that's what i'm gonna end up doing boys so we're gonna do from now from the this video itself from the startup we're going to do just a little bit longer videos until uh, we're finished with one of the series. We come back to uh, two videos or something. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it at uh, at 50 minutes, uh, I guess, or something like that. Maybe not one hour because one hour gets really, really long to edit uh, real fast. All right, let's see what we got right here. I, I'm just supposed to go to the couch. Let's do that. Rest on the couch, boys. Time to end the day already. All right, so I need to meet up with uh, Oshino. And Ikebukuro stash, uh, Station. Uh, probably best to take a taxi. Uh, I always take a taxi anyways. Alright, well boys, let's do it. Let's do it, I guess. So we just slept. We're not in a brand new chapter or anything, but uh, I guess... Uh, I guess we're still starting anew, so... Let's take a taxi. I'm not sure where I'm going. So we're going back to our former okay. city, probably, right? right there? Ehara was leaning on that before the incident. Yep, just like that. He was standing around, searching for a victim. Ihara's the man in the cap and sunglasses. So that's him deciding who to attack. Damn, uh, damn, looking at it now, he, he is pretty suspicious, well, obviously. So, Ihara was lingering at the platform a while, huh? Yeah, he walked past the ticket gate at 7.43 a.m. This was confirmed by the security tapes, as well as when he swiped his transit card. After that, he wandered the platform an entire hour ogling women. He spent that long choosing a target? Yeah. Sick, isn't it? And the security camera... I don't think it's sick. I think it's actually on that purpose. One? That's right. Whoever that woman is, she must be important if she chose... Uh, if he chose her in particular. Uh, so he's pretty famous for his sheer amount of foot traffic. In a station like this, the cameras almost never have a blind spot. Anyhow, at 9.06 a.m., Ihara finally honed in on his would-be victim. Then he boarded her train, which was departing for Shinjuku. She's the one in the pink cardigan and white skirt? Yeah, Yui Mamiya, an office worker and mother of a six-year-old boy. The two of them show up on the train's interior cam as well. According to the victim's statement, Ehara began by rubbing her posterior with the back of his hand. But it didn't stop there. After that, he put his hand up her skirt. Pretty sickening. I'm assuming he targeted someone shy, thinking she wouldn't resist. It makes me angry just thinking about it. Or maybe she was into she it. Was too scared you never know, boys. Help, meaning she you can't assume too much. Six minutes until the train reached its stop in Shinjuku. Can you send what you just showed me to my phone? Sure. Now let's head to Shinjuku Station. Then we can watch as the jerk gets busted. Even if we did defend him in court, an asshole's still an asshole.
Looks like we're getting close to Shinjuku. The train's pretty light right now, but it was packed during the crime, right? Oh, yeah. The car occupancy at that time of day can easily reach 180%. And Ahara should have been standing roughly where I am. Is there anything I can conclude from looking around? Maybe. First off, boys, there ain't no way they're in Japan and this train right now is literally like, looks like a goddamn Montreal train or something or looks like a normal train. There ain't no way this is happening. Oh, we got something right here, boys. Cameras, maybe? Yeah, security camera that recorded the train's interior. They were installed to deter uh, the third train groupers or at the very li uh, least identify them. What? Do they have like a serial train groper or something? How do Why do they have cameras like this just for this situation in particular? I don't know. It's kind of... It's weird. It's weirding me out, boys. Ehara and Mamiya-san both exited the train and got onto the platform here. But right before that, Mamiya-san suddenly grabbed Ehara's wrist and yanked his hand out from under her skirt. That's when she got a good look at her assailant. So without a doubt, she saw it was him. Yes, and there were also traces of her garments on his hand during evidence analysis. Anyway, after being grabbed, Ehara wrenched himself free and took off at a sprint. See, here he gets off the train and bolts across the platform. And Mamiya-san chases after him, asking people around her for help. Ah, uh, this is what they kept looping on TV. Yeah, and honestly, with all this evidentiary footage, defending him in court was a lost cause. Was there any security footage that wasn't aired on TV? Sure, take a look around you. There's more than just one camera pointed at us. They're practically everywhere. Oh, yeah. As for what I was saying earlier, Ihara was finally tackled right in front of those stairs. Oh, right. I have a diagram of the platform to show you. I can't understand so plans, boys. I'm not very good with plans. I guess these are the stairs and, st and stuff. How far apart is that? Roughly a hundred meters. Both he and the victim were weaving their way through the crowd. The whole scene was very chaotic. Even after Ahara was caught, the train was stalled 20 minutes until the area was deemed safe. Hey, you think we could get the positions of all these cameras and where they're pointing penciled in? Good idea. Let's check each camera's position as we walk over to where Ahara was detained. Here's my main That's question. Wait. Tackled. So if you could let me know whenever you see a camera. I okay, no problem. Our diagram here. Okay, so whenever I see a camera, Suspicious. let's go. There's one of them right there. There's one of the cameras. The oh, there's heck? another camera right here. Pretty easy to figure it out, boys. There's another camera right there. There we go. So... Lots of cameras around. We got another one right here as well. So this one out. Okay, so there we go, like just we like that. All the nearby cameras. Let's go up a little further now. Okay, let's go up a little bit further. So we're supposed to go through here. All right, so now we're figuring it out. We got this one right here. Uh, let me see real quick. There's another one right there. And uh, where could be another camera is waiting for me to be discovered. There's a, a no, that, those are not cameras. Those are speakers. There is one right there. Found a camera right here. And there's gotta be one nearby or something. What are you looking at, dude? Stop looking at me. Alright, so I, I got this one. I got this one. I got this one as well. Where's the other one that I'm, uh, I'm just waiting to unco uh, uncover or something? Okay, that's the other one right there. I think. I got another one right there, but uh, I don't have any other ones, so I can't figure it out. So zoom in. Yes, I know what the camera looks like. I don't have any other ones, though, that I know of. I mean, this one was facing the other way. There's no other cameras that I see of. And uh, I don't see another camera, like, on that side at all. So, uh, so it's kind of... Uh, it's a bit weird a little bit because I can't figure it out right now. I can't see anything. I can't see a camera. Maybe if I go through this direction, maybe. Yo, get the hell out of my way. Where are all these people, man? Okay, so I can go a little bit further, it looks like. 
there's if that in that case there's probably more cameras that i can look at i still can't figure out though these cameras are kind of getting a little bit lower right there there's not as many as they used to be for some reason there's another one right there that's the one all right finally okay let's check out all the nearby cameras let's keep looking boys all right here we go again what the so what about this one check this one out and uh do we have any other ones that could be interesting there's another one right there found a camera now it's gonna it's getting tougher and tougher for the cameras though boys to figure it out figure out which one would be a good one all right i found it boys that was the last one right there okay looks finally like figure it out our diagram is now complete the diagram is now complete so what's it all about the so diagram represents a station at the time of the grouping uh, Hiara got off the train around 9.12 a.m. on October 7th. From the deboarding area, he ran into the direction of the arrow. Then he was tackled by concerned citizens. Now we'll pencil in the camera locations and what directions they're pointing. All right, so these are all the cameras right here, I guess. So these are the ones we should probably take from what it, it looks like. So... Each orange areas. Okay, so Dang. examine. Suspicious. So first off, we obviously want to examine this one because it has a clear view of what's happening. So there you go. Overview of the station. Good. Next. Uh, the victim was gripping Eros' hand. Yep. So that's a good one. We don't want to take that one. That's a pretty bad one. We, I think we want to take uh, this one maybe. Well, I, I, I you can't really see anything from down there. That's the problem. The, these cameras, I don't think they're going to see anything. These cameras are not going to be any good, boys. And this is kind of a blind spot, to be honest. Suspicious. There's a there's one that's pretty good right there. That's another good spot. Uh, he was tackled by the witnesses. Okay, so that's where he was tackled. So that's a really good spot. Hey. What about the other blind spots, though? Arrow shows what, uh, and the victim took as she ran up from the platform. And there's the last one right there, I guess. We haven't figured it out. Okay, well, let's find out really quick. So this was the general situation when Ahara committed his crime. What do you think, Yagami-san? Anything of note? Yeah, there's two blind spots. You think Ahara and Mamiya-san were riding the train pretty frequently? Oh yeah, Mamiya-san commuted by train. She was here every weekday. Same goes for Ahara, actually, but he was off that day. Supposedly, he was going to see his wife, even though they're separated. Hmm. Did he ever say why he wandered around the platform for an hour? He said the thought of his wife had him flustered, and he oh, couldn't shit. force himself to board the train. He always had an excuse ready for anything you asked him, including the harassment charges. He pled not guilty, but the evidence said otherwise. There wasn't a single argument we could make in court to establish reasonable doubt. It's safe to say he did it. But on the same day, he knew his son's bully would be murdered in Ijincho. <sighs> Pretty clear it wasn't a spontaneous need to grab some ass. I agree. It's almost like all the commotion around the harassment might have been planned out. Well, that's because it Maybe is planned out. It was. Even down to getting captured. He really played everyone by turning harassment into an alibi for murder. No matter how much evidence points to him as a killer, he can deny it with complete immunity. This is getting crazier by the minute. At the very least, he had something to do with it. Some connection. But I can't imagine he'll talk. Whatever his plan is, it's pretty clear Ahara is committed. To what? Getting revenge for his son? I think so. Who do you think his accomplices could be? Ihara is a veteran cop. Think maybe he knows how to hire an actual assassin? If so, he could have just paid for his revenge, right? Sure. But assassins cost an arm and a leg. He wasn't rich before all this, was he? No. He barely scraped up enough to cover his lawsuit against the school. Thought so. I've gone to the scenes of both the murder and the train groping. That should be all the places I need to see. I don't know about that. What about how about we go to this goddamn home or something? Hey, I haven't checked everything, What's my guy. Sorry, son. I'm scheduling an interview with Ahara tomorrow at the Tokyo Detention Center. 
We'll take a taxi from Genda's if that all works for you. Sounds good. But I need to head back to Eugene Show for now. Something you forgot to do? Yeah. It involves Ahara's motive, which would be without a doubt his son's suicide. So I want to confirm if Mikoshiba really bullied the kid. And the best person to ask happens to be down in Eugene Show. All right. Then I'll let you get to it. Cool. Then I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so it looks like we got to ba go head back to Linshio. And we got a meeting tomorrow as well with Irara himself. All right, so uh, I think I saw everything there was to see at each of their crime scenes. Now, all that's left is getting Sawa to talk. The key will be learn uh, learning what happened with uh, Irara's son four years ago. Did he actually get bullied or not? Uh, if he didn't get bullied, then there's a whole aspect of this that uh, we need to consider, boys. And uh, we don't want to get into that just yet. But let's get in the, the taxi really quick. I uh, obviously want to take the taxi and get right over there. We're going back to school already. We got to figure out a way to make her talk. Uh, Sawa, that is. I don't know how we're going to do this. But uh, it's going to be a challenge, that's for sure. She just doesn't want to talk to me at all, boys. We're in a completely cold case in that, uh, in that one. So we'll have to figure it out. Uh, in the meantime, I also have the whole uh, side quest with uh, Awasama and stuff like that. But uh, for the pre uh, pre professor and all. But I did say I was uh, going to focus on the main story. So that's what we're do uh, doing, boys. Uh, let let's see right here. Anything at all? All right. So we we obviously got to uh, head out over to uh, the next floor as uh, we are right now. And now we just got to basically head over here. Is she finally going to uh, be able to talk to us or is she still going to be a jerk? Got a minute? No, not for you. I really have nothing more to say. What if I told you it's looking more and more likely Ihara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's death? Well, it doesn't concern me. Ihara-san believes Mikoshiba tormented Toshiro-kun so badly that he took his own life. But neither the third-party investigation nor the courts were on his side. So what's the truth here? You know, don't you? <sighs> what really happened between Mikoshiba and Toshiro-kun? Why won't you tell me the truth? Why do you keep asking? I said I don't know! That's bullshit I'm and you know it! I'm going to the detention center tomorrow to get some answers out of Ihara-san. What? I saw where Mikoshiba was murdered. He endured no shortage of cruelty before he died. They tortured him, you know. They broke all his fingers before they slid his throat. No. I I know I'm putting her through a lot right now, but she's connected to this too. Exactly. We gotta we gotta push her to the limit. We need her to talk right now. I mean, it's the it's the only thing we can do. She gets more, uh, she's got all information I need to know before I go see Arara. Exactly. I but need to get that information. knew Mikoshiba would be killed on the day he got caught for groping. It's like he did it to prove he had nothing to do with the murder. But maybe that wasn't his real objective at all. Huh? I think he wanted to signal that he'd finally avenged his son. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago. This man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. If I'm gonna face him tomorrow, I can't go in without some ammunition. So, four years ago, did Mikoshiba bully Toshiro Kun or not? That's all I wanna know. My answer won't change. There's no evidence Mikoshiba Kun did anything wrong. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Take a look at this. That's. Toshiro Ehara, your student. Imagine that he's listening to what you're saying now. If you can look at him and say Mikoshiba played no part in his death, I'll leave you alone. In fact, you'll never hear a word from me again. So which is it? Four years ago, not long after I'd transferred here to teach English, that's when it started. 
I was trying my best to get acclimated, and I was finally on a first-name basis with everyone. One day, after school, I was out on the roof taking a break, when Toshiro-kun suddenly ran by. I called out to him to ask what was wrong, but he shushed me and kept running. I saw he had a bloody nose. Moments later, Mikoshiba-kun showed up. He was looking for him. I told him I hadn't seen him. Toshiro-kun's face told me everything I needed to know. So Mikoshiba was bullying him after all. Yes. Toshiro-kun told me this later on. Whenever he'd leave school with Mikoshiba-kun and his friends, they'd force him to hand over money. At first, they'd try to pass it off as a joke. They said since he lowered the class average on tests, he ought to buy them all drinks as an apology. And Mikoshiba-kun... He was having too much fun with it to stop. He started offering tutoring sessions to Toshiro-kun. Only so he and his crew could extract their tuition from him. They'd even break into his house while his mother was at work and take the money she left him for dinner. And if he couldn't pay, they'd beat him up at school or make him grovel in the bathroom. Didn't anybody see what was really happening? The teachers either saw nothing or turned a blind eye. Few students knew about it, though. Anyway, I ended up relaying everything Toshiro-kun had told me to those boys' homeroom teacher. Mind you, this teacher had tenure, title, and years of experience under his belt. Do you know what he told me? He said not to cause a commotion because those boys were about to graduate. Why does that not surprise me? To be honest, it was hard to paint such an outwardly model student in a negative light. There was also no hard evidence to support Toshiro-kun's story. But someone still should have stepped in to help. If only I'd understood that at the time. You tried. The only thing I tried was to keep an eye out for him. Making sure he wasn't alone, things like that. But unfortunately, that wasn't good enough. On the first morning of the third trimester, Toshiro-kun tied a towel to his doorknob and hung himself in his room. And that's when you confronted Mikoshiba, right? You asked him point blank if he'd bullied him. I did. Well, four years ago, Sawa stood up to Mikoshiba for his terrible behavior. Well, she decided way too late to st uh, st uh, stand up. She's a goddamn adult. He's a teenager. The fuck is he gonna do to you? Like, come on, man. If he starts throw, uh, what, he's gonna hit on women as well? Like, that's a low low at some point. You know, he was already breaking and entering. There's only so much. So come on. She, she could have clearly stood up to him. She's clearly in the in the pro uh, one of the problems as well. Doesn't interact or anything. Then why has she kept that to herself for so long? Exactly. That's that's like uh, being super evil to do that. Mikoshiba-kun pretended to know nothing. He was more careful, shaken even, from then on. In all honesty, when I heard a third party committee was investigating, I was hoping the truth would come out. Students were asked to fill out an anonymous questionnaire. And many of them wrote down exactly what they saw. Hold on. Didn't the court end up declaring there was no substantial evidence of bullying? How could they have said that with those questionnaires on hand? Because the First students all, didn't the say there was any bullying? Anyone directly. Those questionnaires were the only proof of anything. And the teacher of those boys was the one who collected them. Each time he came across any mention of bullying, he'd toss that questionnaire out. Isn't that illegal? Also, he wouldn't get blamed in the end for ignoring the warning signs. Wouldn't have they so noticed the that? Was pointless. I, I, I don't get it, boys. A few students did speak up about the bullying online, but their posts weren't much to go on. Toshiro-kun's parents were completely caught off guard. His mother worked through the day, and his father lived all the way in Tokyo. 
That made it that much easier for the teacher to cover up all the evidence of bullying. He made that statement without even consulting the principal or the chairman. So, right before Miko Shippakun graduated, the committee presented their findings. That there was no evidence of bullying. The conclusion you've heard over and over. What the hell? In Japan, 300 children commit suicide every year, across all grades. Less than 3% are proven to be linked to bullying. Toshiro-kun's case ended up like that, too. But Ehara-san wasn't satisfied with those findings. So he sued Serio Hai, demanding compensation for Toshiro-kun's death. As the trial dragged on, I was eventually called to the witness stand. Of course, my intention was to let everything I knew out into the open. But before that could happen, that damn teacher came with the school's attorney to see how I would testify. Okay. They didn't want you making Why didn't you that, just huh? testify then? Who, who cares about not. lawyers? That's when I first learned what he did with those incriminating questionnaires. They had no choice but to reveal everything to me to try and sway me to their side. I guess they were just that desperate. The problem is you got swayed in the first place. All, How did you get swayed? I was the only adult who Toshiro What can you possibly in. lose? I don't think he'd spoken to his parents about it once. So yes, that's why there was never any objective evidence of bullying. It wasn't like I had a mind to record our conversations. And I hadn't personally witnessed it either. The school attorney saw fit to remind me that the law says innocent until proven guilty. And if I couldn't produce tangible evidence, then I shouldn't be accusing Miko Shibakun. So it was witness tampering? That is, they coerced you into false testimony? <sighs> yes. Well, that attorney is in trouble. Hard on you. He's in trouble big time. What I should have done was told the truth regardless. But what else could I have really done for him? Some days I just don't know. As much as I've tried to convince myself I did everything I could for him, I can never fully believe it. So what happened to the teacher who covered all this up? He transferred to another school. Got to think he's still standing at a podium somewhere. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Even so. I don't have the right to place the blame solely on him. Wait, were were they were in this story? Did uh, Irara def, uh, definitely find out that Mikoshiba was a bully? Exactly. How did he find out? Because if it was that uh, that cl uh, covered up and stuff like that, how the fuck did this father cover like find it, found out about it? Obviously, he's a cop, but still. I don't know, boys. He wasn't clear at the trial whether he could really bring himself to kill a person. Maybe, but in that case, Mikoshiba's bullying of Toshiro, or those questionnaires getting discarded. Have you ever told anyone else? No. I've been silent. Yagami-san, you know what? Back when I was a student in high school, I witnessed bullying firsthand. There was this kid. My classmates pushed him too far. And one day he just jumped off the roof. Off the roof? Really? By some miracle he survived the fall. And he's been in a coma for the last 13 years. God damn. Nobody knows if he'll ever wake up. His name is Mitsuru. And he may never open his eyes to the world again. His mom watches him. But she works full time. She's a higher up in the government. I'm sorry to hear it. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. Good God. What's going on? What is wrong with that country, boys? The fuck? Teaching job. Something's clearly wrong right yeah. now. For poor Toshiro kun, nobody was held responsible at all. And that includes me. But if anyone was going to take responsibility for that, Mikoshiba should have been first in line. I'm sure Ahara-san must have thought the same thing. 
You know what I wanted to be as a kid? I was so innocent, I wanted to be a teacher. And after Mitsuro-kun's tragedy, I felt practically obligated. And still, I just let history repeat itself. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop crying now. It's kind of embarrassing, my girl. <laughs> I think I have a clearer picture about what happened four years ago. And I'm ready to interview Yara. Maybe. But I don't have any like I don't have any proof all I have is hearsay so what the fuck am I gonna do with that I just wasted my time over here if I don't have uh, any actual proof what the fuck am I gonna do with hearsay I don't know boys it's kind of kind of crazy to think about it anyways well I guess we're getting ready to do our thing what's this guy about what is he doing what are you, what are you doing all the way here Again, I, I, I might want to get to the class on the third floor. The second floor has two lines on the other way. Okay. This guy is lost in his own school. The hell? Is he new or something? Alright, anyways, boys. Let's go see Awasama. Just because we're right there, we might as well interact with her really quick. Anything uh, awesome. new, my girl? Uh, did she fill you up on the professor's website? Yes. I was actually looking into it. It's on the dark web, so I wasn't able to browse it us uh, using uh, conventional methods. Mm -hmm. Dark web? I'm going to need some more details here. Alright, so what, uh, what about the dark web? Oh, he doesn't know what that is? Really, my guy? What? He's really retarded. My character is really retarded, boys. I, I swear. It's essential to shadow realm of the internet. Does that mean... The website was normally browsed as our... our or either on the surface web or the deep web. Uh, public fair, like blogs or shopping sites, are accessible by anyone. So they're considered by the uh, part of the surface web. Exactly. Uh, look, you don't need to tell me what a deep web is. I'm not retarded like my character. They're even accessible, blah, blah, blah. I see. All right, so that's just the tip of the iceberg. Counterfeit money, fake passports, illegal animals, apparently. There are even sites where you can hire assassins. Well, I, I doubt that, to be honest. That's not really true, but uh, maybe. I, I don't know. It's probably... It's a possibility, but I don't think that's how it's done. And you are saying the professor's website isn't any better? Yes. Well, it's not so te terribly grim as that, but the students posting on the site definitely have some unsavory requests. Okay, what about the professor's site? What is it all about? Me, Allow me to show you the whims of the students on Leash. Let's see what he's dealing with. What we're dealing mm. with. It looks like an ordinary bulletin board at first glance. What kind of stuff's getting posted? All sorts of requests. I want. Uh, I want to ace the. Uh, uh, I want to ace the mock exam. I want my crush to notice me. Some add their requests answered here. The professor replied with the prices for all the different answer keys to upcoming exams. What does that mean? Up to date answer keys. Sounds like the kind of thing someone would have had to hack into a school server to get their hands on. If I were to guess... I'm sure they already have. I'm, if not the professor himself, then someone under his employee. Also, I should mention another... Uh, anyone registering on the site needs to provide a, uh, a student ID. Presumably to weed out uh, faculty and parents. Professor really seems to have a thought of everything. Take a look at this post. By username Dancing Bunny. Okay, so dear professor, I want to see Misaki's high dance captain Yuri Norizuki get injured during the dance jam in finals. Do it right before she goes on stage. Ruin her on the night she wants everything to go on her, her way. Ruin that pretty face. What the hmm? hell is wrong with that person? I know I've heard that name before. That's the girl, huh? At uh, the dance prel yes. prelims, yes, the ex-idol and star dancer of the dance club. That's, uh, there's also a strong chance that this request was made by uh, a dance club member. Don't tell me it's my girl. Don't tell me it's the other girl that uh, I would have been dancing with. I, I swear, if that's really her. What makes you say that? Well, 
After looking at Dancing Bunny's previous uh, post, it seems to be a safe bet. In one, they complain about the club's advisor. In other, they ask for advice about something that happened during practice. Unbelievable. One of the rabbits wishing arm on Nerizuki. No way. My guy, it's clear who it is. Nerizuki has clearly stoke She's friend zoned my girl, the, like the head girl. She friend zoned her. In front of her, like obviously it's the head, uh, it's the head chief of the dance club. It's clearly her. There's a possibility the professor will ask, uh, ask, accept Dancing Bunny's request. That's not good. All right, request for assault on the unique. Indeed, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you once again to uh, once more in the fray and track down this rabbit. We know who it is. We don't need to track it down. We already know who it is. It's pretty clear to me who it is, boys. Anyways. We're leaving. Uh, it's time to leave again. We're going to go back for to do uh, main s uh, missions and stuff like that. So I imagine they want me to go to the basement. Yeah, and investigate. Continue to investigate this whole thing. So the dance club and everything. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. We're not going to do that, boys. We're going to... Every time we go back to the school, we're going to continue to do these. Uh, once in a while. But we're not focusing on that right now. I mean, we clearly know what's going on. We clearly know who asked. But why would my girl uh, do that? I don't know, boys. So, return to Ye Yokohama again. Man, this whole game is literally me uh, doing a mission, then returning to Yokohama again. All right, well, here we go again, boys. Back over here. What's going on here? We're going to have a... Oh, okay. There's a dog right there. Hmm? What's up with this dog? Hey, what's wrong? You uh, you uh, you lose your owner? Huh? Well, Yagami, it appears you finally met the infamous detective dog of Lincho. A detective dog? Really? We need that? Hmm? Sorry, the what now? Words beginning out at, uh, around town of an odd dog who apparently wanders the streets looking for cases to solve. That makes no goddamn sense, but I'll take it. Whenever he catches the scent of mystery of a, or a crisis, he calls out to a nearby people, alerting them of a nearby I incident. <laughs> Actually, he stops by by uh, here rather often. It's almost as if she he knows this is a detective agency. Mm. Seriously, this dog does that. Yeah, for the past few months now, he seems to uh, take his self-appointment position quite seriously. Kind of sounds like Awasama, uh, Amasawa. Exactly, he sounds exactly like her. By the way, why is he wandering around like a uh, town though? He's a, he has a collar, so he's obviously not just a stray. Sure. Therein lies the mystery of this dog. I'm pretty sure that's not how you write therein, boys, but sure, I guess. Uh, he's very well trained and the perfect specimen of health. Uh, no one's seen uh, him rooting around in garbage or anything. So, based on this information, it's clear that he has someone to take I care see. of him. Mystery's chasing dog has missed the big mystery himself. Hmm? Oh, something wrong, boy. Wait. He, he's picked up the scent of a mystery. I believe he wants you to follow him. Uh, um. Right. Am I supposed to hold the leash? <laughs> he just has a proper leash manners, is all. I guess if he really is that smart, I can see why he's walking around freely. What? What is it? You want to take me, uh, uh take you for a walk? <laughs> I believe he's requesting you to partner up with him. Are you willing to accept the case? I already have my hands full with the MRC. Now I have to take care of the detective talk too? What's going on? Yeah, exactly. I already have my hands full with the MRC, boys. I don't have time for a detective dog. What the hell? New partner, side case. So this is the typical side case they're giving me every time, I guess. Who's a good boy? Okay, lead the way. You're not just taking me to get the food, uh, get your food, are you? Hey. Oh shit. I guess I'm not taking point on this case. This way, huh? All right. Um. Okay, so I'm walking around with my dog, boys. Look at that. Oh shit. He's not gonna allow me. All right. Well, we gotta follow him. Look at the little chubby buddy. We got a new dog, boys. We're walking around with him or something. Walking simulator. I don't know. So it seems like uh, uh, it might be a new chapter then, after that, because it seems like it was, it's like a pattern of some sort. Every time 
Uh, you do a side quest, a force side quest and stuff like that. It uh, after that you basically go into a new chapter and whatnot. So I'm, ba I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. It's my it's my feeling, boys. Now where is he going? Where is he leading? Uh, where is he leading me at? This is, there is, this is an issue. You don't know how to get in touch with her. Uh. Nope. She just said to wait here. That should be back for me soon. Oh dear. This is not good. Excuse me. Uh, is there some sort of trouble? Okay. And you are? Uh, Yagami, a detective from uh, Kamarucho. Ah, oh, what a cute doggy. Um. Something the matter here. Mm. Well, he's been waiting in front of the facility for a while now because he, his mother told him what? to wait here. Uh, our orphanage main facility is upstairs. I see. Well, and you say he was left here. Obviously, she left him for the orphanage. She doesn't want him anymore, so... Case clear, boys. We don't need to do anything. He actually had this envelope with him when I first came out uh, to ask if anything was wrong. What's that envelope? Some kind of letter? It says, please take care of uh, Shusuki. Hmm. Okay. At the very least, I was hoping to learn why he's here. Being dropped off by uh, without any hint of knowing the truth. There's no way that uh, that's no way to treat a uh, person. Hey, Shusuki, right? How long's your mom been gone? Like an hour? If that's true, there's a slight chance that she could still be nearby. Really? What uh, was it? You're a detective, aren't you? You could you possibly find his mother? I really would like to, but so did your mom mention anything at, uh, at all about where she might be going? Mm. I don't know. Okay, how about her name? What's her name? Mikan. Uh, Shibuya Mikan, I guess. All right, so now uh, not much I can do with just that, though. Hmm? What is it? You're interested in that letter, boy? Okay, so you can you can smell it. Yeah, you can smell the uh, the perfume and everything, so you can track her by the scent. All right, let's uh, let him do his thing, boy. The spoiler I should let him take a crack at it. All right, so track the scent for me, will you? I'm doing great. All right, so he got the scent, so we're gonna be able to uh, follow her. This way, huh? I like how we just have a dog now. So where's he me that? Wait, where are we going right now? Okay, so where, where's Doing the great. the mother? I don't know if she went very far away. Uh, I mean, it's been this an way, hour. Huh? She could have literally. Uh, well, I guess she didn't go far away. <laughs> Come on, Mikan. Time to get in. What is this? A yakuza? Shusuke, was it? You gotta make that dough for his sake, right? And you promise you'll send him his share, right? <laughs> of course he, uh, we will, Mikan. Once you pay back what you owe, that is. And none, uh, no funny business on your end, either. Is that her, boy? Uh? What's your problem? Go sniff out somewhere else. Excuse me. You're, uh, you're his mom, right? Uso. How did you know that? I came looking for you after his dog led me to your son. Uh, didn't they expect you to run into this guy too, but uh, now I see what's going on. A dog led you? Well, I guess it's you owed uh, some enough money that this come back trying to drag you off to work some unsavory job for the rest of your life. A brothel or something probably. What? I, I mean, <sighs> happens all the time in Kamarachuro, where I work. Ah. What? The fuck is your deal, asshole? If you're getting in the way of company business, don't be surprised when you end up dead. Hey. I already he uh, heard you say she owes you. How much does she owe? But uh, by now, what interest are you charging? She borrowed 500 grand. Which interest? That's 9 mil. You're you planning on covering it or something? No way. Okay, see, that's an exorbitant rate. I knew I, knew I was looking at a loan charge from the first moment. I think I'll be leaving with Mikan uh, now. Do I need to knock you out first? Fuck you, man. We got her first. Know what? I'm gonna ice you in your mutt. Oh my. All right, let's do this then. If you wanna, uh, if you don't wanna fight me, let's do it. Do you don't know what's coming to you, buddy? Woo! Let's go, boys. Boom! Just like that. All right. Uh, we got him. All right. That's what I'm talking about right here. How about we do an EAX or something? There we go. EX action, boys. Just like that. Finish him off. 
All right, boom, and we got him. All right, so now next guy right here, we're just gonna walk over him and drag him like that. So you want to talk about how treating people as uh, as property is legal? What? I'm fully a licensed lawyer, and I'd be happy to take your case pro bono. But you, uh, why don't we sit down for a little chat? Ah, shit! Screw this. <laughs> this guy just left. He said no one left, boys. So is that it? How'd you get so bad? Well, he's still waiting for you at the orphanage. He thought you were going to come back for him. <sighs> they said if I didn't go with that man, they'd they'd sell Shusuke off to someone. So that's why. In other words, he made you panic enough to agree to do what they said. <clears throat> Yes, I... I feel so terrible. No way. Well, that's the sort of thing loan sharks will do. They figure out how to pressure you enough to that you break. Next thing you know, they own you all right. Excuse me. I know a good lawyer in Kamurachua who'd be happy to help you. Shall I reach out to help her, uh, to her for you? Please, yes. Okay, alright. 50k! Good lord, that's a lot of money. A lot of points too. Mom, you're back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's a good boy. Uh, good job. Hmm. Uh, what are you doing, really? You've got the whole town talking about you right now. Don't you have a home? Where's your home? He doesn't seem to want to tell me where it is. Alright, jeez. I wish you could tell me. I got a phone call. Oh, Yagami. I have a huge favor to ask. I'll pay you if I have to. Please, find Rempo for me. Rempo? Amasawa? Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't tell me my partner in crime. That's my dog's partner in crime. Okay, alright. Oh, sorry. Right post the name of our dog, but he's a big mystery lover, too. He even gets away from the house to go solve them sometimes. Really, my dude? Let me, uh, let me send you a picture. Okay. Alright. I should have known. Of course it belongs to her. So you I want some of dog, huh? Seriously? Just have to break away from the family and make a name for yourself. <sighs> Can't say I'm surprised though. They say pets and their owners grow more and more alike over the years. But this is uh whatever. I should I, I guess I should get in touch with Amasawa. Yo my girl, I got your dog right here. He actually came to me. So sorry you had to deal with Rampo. Hey Rampo, you listen. No one they off you on your own. How many times have I told you? You'll never behave, will you? Nope. Ah, uh, he seems like a good do a bug, uh, good boy to me, aren't you? <laughs> Yagami. Well, he does seem rather fond of you. Rampo is usually more wary of strangers. It can't be. Maybe he sees you uh, more as a professional partner. Huh? Really? You think so? Yes. Indeed I do. In fact, I've been raising him as a proper investigative uh, partner ever since he was a puppy. Huh? What do you mean by that? Um... Well, um, when I was a little, I read a, uh, I read a book about a detective girl whose dog helped her crack her case. Uh, the moment I finished the book, I finally s I started ra training Rampo to help me solve mysteries. So you're why he's always sniffing out trouble. Yes. Yes, and it seems he's getting, uh, he's gotten quite hooked on it. Whenever he smells an incident brewing, he's off and running. We try to keep him inside the house, but he's just too good at slipping out. Does that mean... Is that okay? Like, with the animal shelters and police? <sighs> no, it very much is not. Rempo's been caught several times by gr uh, both groups, and I have to be the one who picks him up and ap apologize every time. He becomes quite a familiar face at the shelter, unfortunately. But he, he doesn't bite. He even tries to help people out. So there's a lot more lenient with him than uh, there's supposed to be. <laughs> you two really are alike, huh? What? What? You think hey. so? You know, I really, you really did train him well. Think he'd be willing to help me again. If, he can, uh, if I can run uh, across each other <gasps> in town. Well, uh, I suppose so. You could always try calling for him at least. If he's around, he feels like uh, helping. You maybe get lucky. You're leaving your best life, aren't you? All right. Rempo, no. Sorry. 
So yeah, got me. I, I gotta go. Right, you you go catch that dog. <laughs> it wasn't that something. Uh, maybe I uh, for, I should try calling Rampo from time to time. Okay. I mean, maybe if he can help me out with cases. If he can help me out, detect it out. All right. I mean, if he can help me out with my ongoing case uh, at the for the groper and stuff, I'll I'll contact him no problem. But right now, I don't feel like that's really something I need to do. So. We'll end the video right here, boys. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy uh, this one. Keep it easy.